Hello everyone, this is Adnan with ScanApp training video. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize our Active Directory. Now in my previous video, uh, we did uh, recovering, backup and recovery of Active Directory. We also tested authoritative and non-authoritative restore. But now that we do have proper backup, we do have the environment running now, the next part is uh, to understand Active Directory optimization. And when it comes to Active Directory opt optimization, the very first thing is to defrag Active Directory database. <clears throat> now, why would, why would we need to defrag Active Directory database? The reason is uh, Active Directory database keeps on filling without, uh, keeps on uh, growing without emptying the free spaces. and uh, and which which ends up making the Active Directory database fragmented. For that reason, we need to do a defragment of Active Directory database. Now, defragment of Active Directory database is mostly so. There are two types of defragment done in Active Directory. So, first of all, let me show you here what is fragmentation. So in order to understand fragmentation, let's make our server here first. So this is our server, and this is a server 2012, the same server, and where we have Active Directory. It has ADDS role, it has DNS role, and it has our Active Directory. Now this Active Directory, as we know of, it is called NTDS.DIT. And within this uh, Active Directory database, we know that we have uh, user accounts, we do have uh, computer accounts, we do have OUs uh, sitting here. So a lot of very, very important things sitting here in Active Directory. In a large, large organization, this Active Directory grows in size because you are constantly making changes to Active Directory. People are being added, people are being deleted. So what happens is <clears throat> this database, if we say that this is Active Directory database, when this database, when it was first started, it starts filling up this uh, Active Directory database. Now, with time, what happens is uh, your database will be filled up, but uh, but with time, uh, what happens is there will be some uh, empty spaces. So let's say you deleted something here, this is an empty space. You deleted something here, this is an empty space. You deleted something here, and it's an empty space. So there are these empty spaces, uh, but Active Directory keeps on growing in size. So, and when the Active Directory keeps on growing in size and there are a lot of empty spaces, now this would affect the performance of Active Directory with time. So what we need to do, this is known as fragmented data. So we're gonna call it fragmented data. Now, in order to make it defragment, uh, we can, we can, we should perform defragmentation of Active Directory. So, what we need to do is perform defragmentation. Now, defragmentation is of two types. There is online defragmentation, and the second one is offline defragmentation. Online defragmentation is it's kept on going. So this is uh, from time to time, regular interval Active Directory will automatically defragment itself. But, uh, and, and this is a very, uh, what do you call, this is a very light type of defragmentation. I'm, I would call it, this is a light defragmentation. Uh, the problem with this is this won't empty, the, this, won't, uh, this won't remove the free spaces, but it does, uh, but it does uh, perform uh, light defragmentation. So, uh, so the real defragmentation happens offline uh, defragmentation. Now, when you do offline defragmentation, what we need to do is we need to take down Active Directory database. So we need to stop ADDS services and then uh, go and use a utility called NTDS UT Util. And then within NTDS Util, we need to form a defragment. Now, the problem with defragmentation, offline defragmentation, that you are going to stop the database. So this has to be planned. This has to be designed uh, uh, well before time so that uh, you should have a backup 
DC that should be giving authentication services to all of the users. <coughs> so uh, now I'm going to show you how to do a offline defragmentation. So in order to do this, let's jump on to our server number one and let's log in. And once you're logged into server number one, uh, make sure that your all services are working fine. Server manager starts. And uh, what we need to do in order to defragment our database, if we look at our uh, slides here. Uh, so here we need to run. So first of all, we need to stop the Active Directory database. We can stop it like this, or we can stop it through GUI. And all we need to do well, once it is stopped, then we need to run this command. Now, this command in Server 2012, this can be run exactly in one line. You just copy this command and put it in uh, in uh, on command prompt, or you can run it step by step as well. I'm going to show you how to run it step by step. Uh, uh, we can do it step by step, or we can do it on, uh, one by one. So let's log in here. I'm not going to copy this at the moment. Let me show you on the server. My DCs are working. Everything is working fine. We are about to do offline defragmentation. And we go here, go to command prompt. And once you're here in command prompt, what we need to do is we need to run a command. First of all, we need to stop the NTDS database. We can stop it through a command line, or we can also go here in tools and go to services and within service we need to go back to here this is the service all we need to do is stop services or if you don't want to do this then we can run this command you can type it or copy it so let me copy it here so I'm going to copy it and put it right here within the command prompt uh, you can you can right click and paste here it says stop service ntds force ntds stop service oh sorry it's a powershell command need to go into powershell and then type here right click actually so in this we can I'm going to go here and paste. Okay, why is it not pasting? Let me try that again. Uh, copy. Go back in the server. Okay, so sometimes the copy doesn't work between the host machines. I'm going to say uh, stop dash service and the service name is NTDS. And I'm going to say force, enter. So in few moments, so the services will be stopped. Let's verify it right from here. If I refresh, I can see the service is stopped. It's not only this one service is stopped. There are a few other services that are stopped with this. Now the second command that we need to run, I'm going to put it on this side because so here, the second command, I need to defrag Active Directory. So for that, I need to do NTDS. <coughs> Let me make the screen a bit bigger. So NTDS UTIL. And then, so NTDS util prompt start. So here, first of all, we need to activate instance. So I'm just running this command, activate. We can just do it in one line as well, but here, uh, I'm just doing it so instance activate instant and TDS so activate it instant and TDS make sure the spelling is correct and second thing I need to connect to files I should say files I'm within file maintenance mode and if I look at the question mark uh, the help of this uh, command here I just need to run compact to this so here I'm gonna say compact to root so same command compact to C and it's 
now updating source file and source directory this is how it's defragging get once the defrag is done once the defrag is done it is successfully copied you need to copy this so all we need to do is take copy this command and put it here uh, sorry I need to get out of here so quit and one more time quit and here copy so now all I did was copy this and paste it on the prompt and delete all the log files so I'm gonna right click here copy so the way you copy it just select and just press right click just right click it will be copied and here on this here you just need to again right click and paste and it will be done now our active directory database is defragmented now the second thing right here uh, what we can do is we can check the integrity of this uh, uh, of, the, of our active directory database uh, checking the integrity make sure that the database is in good health even after defragmentation so for that again we need to go back into NTDS with us. so here let's clear screen and then NTDS UTIL util activate uh, you can write few words and few letters instant NTDS okay so it's not working let me try again activate in activate instance so it's not a, so more time here now this works uh, so activate instance and then again we need to go back to so activate instance files and just type integrity files and integrity as soon as it is done it just checks the integrity uh, now if the database is fine it's working it should give us integrity check is successful once this is all done we can quit and quit one more time and now we need to start a directory database so we can say start services and pds enter now it's starting active directory services we'll go back to services just to make sure <coughs> just to make sure services are started and right at the end all we need to do just go back to tools open active directory users and computers to just to verify if Active Directory services are started and our Active Directory is working fine. Now sometimes, since I just started the services, it might not work right at the same time because it has to start some other services. We can give it a few minutes to properly start the Active Directory uh, database. So I've already initiated open. Um, it might it might take a few minutes now while this is starting up the next part here is we can database clean up about active directory database cleanup is that so here we know that okay so it just needs some time to start active directory will just give a few minutes and then we'll try that check that check aduc again now uh, metabase cleanup uh, of active directory is known as is, is, uh, we need to do a metabase cleanup of active directory if a domain controller is not properly removed so if a domain controller has been if we if we ever need to remove a domain controller force uh, forcefully uh, we can use we can do metabase cleanup in order to do metabase cleanup we need to run this complete command with the server name and database and dc can be removed now in order to understand this sometime what happens is when we do have a uh, uh, sometimes what happens is when we do have a domain controller normally in order to remove a domain controller we can uh, just run active directory setup uh, let me get my whiteboard in order to understand database cleanup so here in order to remove a domain controller let's say I had two domain controllers one and two now if we have two domain control how did we install them to start with we had in, we installed adds and dns was automatically installed then we installed adds on this 
and DNS was automatically installed. Now, in order to remove Active Directory from here, uh, all we need to do is run DC Promo again or remove the role. So this the normal the normal procedure. And if DC Promo doesn't work in Server 2012, we just remove it. Uh, the command won't work uh, by removing the role. Now this is known as graceful removal of Active Directory. Just remove the role and it. But sometimes what happens is if this domain controller is completely crashed, then there is no way you can gracefully remove it. In that case, we need to, but, but this name exists in our database. So we might need to remove this server from this database. So the database says that we have DC1, which is this one, and we have DC2. So database will still keep on thinking that it has the second DC. But second DC is crashed, it cannot be removed. So in order to remove this forcefully, we use something called metabase cleanup. And metabase cleanup is done through that one command, metabase cleanup. And in order to do a metabase cleanup, all we need to do same MTDS util, and you just run this complete command. And we just run this com complete command that is known as Metabase cleanup. Now let's let's go back and check here that if our uh, directory is working and go back into so now yes so it was just timing so now Active Directory is working fine so this is how we can successfully uh, do a uh, Active Directory defragmentation. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.